The term hybrid is used somewhat interchangeably when describing cars and SUVs, but actually there are three types of hybrid engines that you might be considering. Each of them has different implications for your wallet and for the drive, so let's go through them. The first type of hybrid, which has no plug by the way, is the mild hybrid, and some examples are the Volvo B5 engine, which you'll find in various models, the Ram 1500 Hemi E-Torque is a mild hybrid engine, and same thing with the engine in the Land Rover Defender. There are other examples too. In a mild hybrid like these, you've got a conventional gas-burning engine except that the alternator, which is a generator, and the engine starter, which is a motor, are both removed and replaced by a single machine that's usually called a motor generator or integrated starter generator. And since this machine is both a motor and a generator at the same time, and it's both a very powerful electric motor and a generator that can create a lot of electricity. This animation of the e-torque mild hybrid system in the Ram 1500 Hemi shows us what's going on. So that's your standard 5.7 liter Hemi V8 engine, except the integrated motor generator is installed in place of the alternator and starter. And there's also a battery pack about the size of a suitcase to hide within the vehicle, typically under the rear seat, but in the case of the Ram, it's in the rear firewall. So motor generator up front attached to the engine, additional storage battery somewhere else in the vehicle. And now you've turned the standard Hemi V8 into its own power station and given it an electric supercharger. In the mild hybrid, electricity is generated automatically while you drive around, stored in that battery and used to help boost engine power without using extra fuel. You won't experience any all-electric driving in a mild hybrid. This cost-effective and relatively affordable type of hybrid has limited additional components. Still, it's cheap, effective, and boosts both power and fuel efficiency. The second type of hybrid vehicle, which has no plug, is called the Hybrid Electric Vehicle, or HEV, and we just call those hybrids. So the Hybrid Electric Vehicle, or hybrid, which also does not have a plug, runs on the same principle as the mild hybrid. It generates electricity automatically while you drive, stores it in a battery, and uses it later to boost fuel efficiency and power. Compared to a mild hybrid, the hybrid has enhanced components that are more fully integrated within the vehicle's powertrain, which can allow them to generate more electricity and use it in more situations. These enhanced components are costlier, but they expand the benefits of hybrid driving. So while a mild hybrid engine can't provide any all-electric motoring, a hybrid engine like the ones you'll find in popular Toyota hybrids and other machines like the Ford F-150 Power Boost and Honda Accord Hybrid can drive for short periods entirely on stored electricity using no gasoline at all. F-150 Power Boost rolls down the road using combustion power, electric power, or commonly some combination of the two. These moments of fuel-free driving are not possible in a mild hybrid, but in an HEV, or standard hybrid. They add up over the course of every tank to cut emissions and stretch your fuel dollars even further, but again, typically with a higher upfront cost. So where a mild hybrid works more like a performance boost that doesn't require additional gasoline, a hybrid adds many moments of all-electric driving to the experience, boosting performance while also more significantly cutting fuel use, typically by around a third, depending on the model. The third type of hybrid is the only one to have a plug. It's called the Plug-in Hybrid Electric Vehicle, or PHEV, PHEV. You'll find that type of hybrid engine available on cars like the Dodge Hornet RT. Plug-in hybrid versions of machines like the Mitsubishi Outlander, Hyundai Tucson, Toyota RAV4, Ford Escape, Mazda CX-90, as well as others, including any Volvo powered by the T8 engine, which is their plug-in hybrid. This works the same way as a hybrid, but uses a battery that can store a lot more electricity. In fact, the plug-in hybrid battery can store so much more electricity than the hybrid battery that the gas engine's built-in hybrid generator function is insufficient to recharge it fully in a timely fashion. And that's why this is the one and only type of hybrid engine with a plug. Connect it to a power outlet or charger, and the battery in your plug-in hybrid recharges to full, storing enough electricity to power dozens of kilometers of all-electric driving before the gas engine needs to switch on. So electricity goes in here, and gas goes in here. Many plug-in hybrid drivers charge up at night while they're sleeping or at work and use that electricity to get off of gasoline for daily commuting and errands, perhaps visiting the gas station a few times a year instead of a few times a month. Plugging in this type of hybrid is always optional if your battery isn't charged. The gas hybrid engine turns on automatically and you're driving around as a regular gas electric hybrid. More plugging in means more fuel savings, but in a plug-in hybrid, as long as there's gas in the tank, you're always good to drive. 